This year, the state is requiring the kids of East Jordan pay sales tax on the arts, crafts, baked goods, and other crap that no one really wants to buy. Seems pretty reasonable to me, so I'm gonna walk around and make sure all the kids and parents have the right form and fill it out. Hey, Don, lovely day, isn't it? Hold those documents of tyranny right there. Okay, gotta run, talk soon. Don't forget to fill out your special event sales tax form. Are you so excited to teach your kids the importance of paying taxes? Just stay away from my children. Taxes go to pay for important government programs like keeping this beautiful park up and running. Hey, what? No, what? No, stop! You guys, stop! Why? Jan, free hug? Maybe later? I'll be here all day. Chelsea, yeah, I have some of the worst news I have heard since I became city manager here at East Jordan. We're being sued by some group called Liberty R Us. <sighs> Liberty R Us is a local think tank run by a bunch of crazy people who call themselves libertarians. I call them the no people. They plaster their slogan everywhere. I mean everywhere. Last year, they kept us from using eminent domain to build a dog park. Apparently, they don't like your street lamp utility fee, which I thought was literally one of the best ideas you've ever had. Now I can run a little 10K in the middle of the night at my neighborhood park, if I ever need to. It's literally the best. Hopefully. Hey, so Liberty RS believes that your utility fee is actually a tax and is therefore unconstitutional. That's impossible. Lowland has their public safety utility fee. Cheerful Cove has the transportation utility fee. Well, none of that matters, Chelsea, because we're the ones being sued. Why did you even need this fee in the first place? It was to help get rid of our animal infestation problem. It got to the point where the possums and raccoons were having turf wars in some of our parks at night. They're like right out of West Side Story. Poor Tony the raccoon. What are we gonna do about this? I have no idea, but I can tell the city council about the situation. This is a bigger disaster than The Last Jedi. I love that movie. <sighs> okay guys, those evil no people are coming after us. I heard they want to take over the world. And then just leave us all alone. I'm beginning to like these guys already. And they're huge supporters of entrepreneurs, like me. You know, I was thinking of starting my own business here in East Jordan. Delivering food to people so they didn't have to go to the restaurants themselves. That's the stupidest idea I ever heard, Gary. Yeah, no one would ever use that. I would totally use that. Okay, you guys, you're getting sidetracked. Liberty RS is coming after our street lamp funding. Now what are we gonna do about this? I need ideas. Why don't we do a series of town halls to emulate the truth and taxation process? I don't think that's such a good idea. You remember what happened last time. How do you guys feel about paying taxes? <laughs> Wait, I can't stop! I'm in big trouble, and when it's this bad, I need to call Jan. Jan, you've got to help me. There's an emergency. What could be more important than dealing with this pandemic? I don't care if the hospital's overrun with coronavirus. I need you. Liberty RS is delaying the implementation of this utility fee by suing us. And you don't have a good case to defend? Well, yes, but maybe no. There's a good possibility a judge would get rid of the fee completely. Oh, it's too bad you have to make your case to a judge instead of the community. <gasps> That's it, Jan. I'll book a spot on TV and take my appeal to the people. Oh, my radiant Jan, you always have the best ideas. Yes. Oh no, that's not what I... Bye, gotta go. We're on in 30. So, Chelsea, seems like you really stepped in it this time. Maybe you should try being a public servant and really solve some actual problems. <laughs> Sorry, putting up nightlights for people doesn't sound like very much fun. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, action. 
morning, East Jordan. I'm Jen Malfasanti, and I'm here with Chelsea Epp to talk about her latest scandal, the street lamp tax. Let's jump straight into it with some calls for and against from our viewers. Yeah, I want to ask Miss Yip here just where she gets off trying to steal my money with this secret tax. Oh, it's actually not a secret tax. It's a utility fee that's printed right on your bill each month for you to see. Fully transparent. Because my favorite thing to do is read my utility bill line by line. You ain't got nothing better to do than raise my taxes. On to the next caller. Hey, Chelsea, baby, got an idea for you. Why don't we make cuts to other line items in the city budget to pay for the street lamps? Okay, and what would you propose that we cut? Two words, Chelsea. Fire department. Nobody wants giant water guns shooting their house. Ooh, seems like Chelsea doesn't have a good answer for that one. Who's next? Isn't this supposed to be for and against? The street lamp fee was the most equitable solution that we could find that a majority of people supported. All right. Well, we haven't had any supporters call in yet. Oh, wait. Here's someone who sounds friendly. Hi, Chelsea. Love most everything you've been doing for our town. Oh, why thank you. But personally, I don't think we should have street lamps at all. It causes light pollution that makes it difficult to see the stars at night. <sighs> I just can't win. Don, I need your help. I can see that. What? Where did this come from? It's plastered all over town. Ah, oh, Don, why does Liberty R Us think our street lamp utility fee is a tax? Probably because it is. Taxes, as you bureaucrats like to say, are for the general benefit of society. Roads, schools, and even libraries. Oh, I hate libraries. It's like this ketchup. It's always on the table. Some use a lot. Others, not at all. And that's where fees come in. It's like that avocado toast you like to get. It costs extra, but only on your bill, not on everyone's bill. And thank goodness, because avocado is disgusting. What? You want me to charge specific people a fee just for walking in or around a park at night? That's ludicrous. Besides, everyone benefits from a safer community with less crime. Chelsea, I know that it pains me to say this, but if we're going to have taxes, which are all theft, then the proper thing for a local government to do is to pay for a service like this with general taxation. Yeah, and find somewhere else in the budget to cut to pay for it. Now you're getting me excited. <sighs> okay, but what am I supposed to do? Liberty RS is gonna be at the city council tonight and they're just gonna drag me through the mud. Maybe you should listen to what they have to say and see if they have a solution. <laughs> Libertarians presenting solutions. All they ever do is say no. On the contrary, here is a pretty bold and extensive solution written by Libertarians. I always carry with me a copy of the U.S. Constitution, the Utah Constitution, the East Jordan Founding Charter, and a copy of my own personal constitution. I better not hear anything about charter cities or getting rid of all zoning. Okay, let's get this meeting started. I think we all know why we're here, to see Chelsea get roasted once again for her cockamamie ideas. Let's skip straight to the public comments on this one. Well, I am personally disturbed by this new street lamp tax. I mean, what's next? A sales tax on our paunch burgers? Charging for water and electricity? Uh, <laughs> sir, you already pay taxes and utilities for all those things. Listen, what I do with my water and electricity is none of the government's business. Honestly, I was pretty disappointed to see the city put up electric lights. Like, why don't we just use candles? Why do we even have parks? It's not the proper role of government. Who knows how much of that land you snapped up through eminent domain? No more parks! No more parks! No more parks! We did three different studies on this issue. Why is this such a big problem all of a sudden? The study's meant to bypass the Constitution. Friedrich Tuttle, Liberty R.S. President. 
No matter how much you study the issue, it's still unconstitutional. Yeah, but an equitable solution that a majority of people indicated they were agreeable to. You can't put constitutional principles up for a city vote. I mean, can you vote to disallow freedom of speech at the town square because we all felt like it? What's next? Are you gonna make me pay for your avocado toast too? But how else are we supposed to get street lamps for this park? I thought you might ask that. Rather than finding creative ways to make new fees, why don't we find innovative ways to turn to the market for community solutions? But all your ideas are crazy. Now, I know a lot of our ideas are crazy, but hear me out on this, all right? We've been working with a young entrepreneur from the kids' market, all right? And his new company, Neighborhood Glow, would be willing to donate a set of innovative, green, energy-efficient street lamps for these parks, drastically reducing long-term maintenance and energy costs. But current state and local regulations stand in the way. What if we use the new state regulatory sandbox? Waive that specific regulation for only a couple years and see how it goes. Now that's a solution. I can get on board with. You know, Chelsea, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye on things, but do you think we can work together? Maybe over waffles? Okay, you guys have a deal. I'll entertain a motion. I move that we put an end to the street lamp fee. All in favor, say aye. 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 I rule that to be unanimous. The street lamp fee is no more. The new street lamps will be going up this week. Now I know there is a fine line between a fee and a tax, and I've got to keep an eye out for where that line is. Uh -uh. And the Liberty RS guys aren't so bad. They gave me a set of these cool kids books to read. Now, if only I could get those guys to let us go after these illegal Airbnbs. Tom, can I use your storage just for a little bit? My back's hurting. Chelsea, you caused this problem, and I brought the solution. That's more than most government agencies can say. <laughs>